Please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you. Hi everyone. These are the nails that I'm going to be showing you how to do today. They are some beautiful purple poly gel. And the poly gel is from a company called Gel Like. And here are the nails just finished and they're plain. And here they are with their 3D design, which kind of gives them that boho vibe, boho beach nail vibe with the shells. Here is the tube of purple poly gel by Gel Like. This is a 60 gram tube and you can see the number is 196. This sells on their store at AliExpress for $12.88 free shipping. I will also include that link in the description box below so you can go and check it out. Just look at that beautiful color. I absolutely love it. I will also be using some purple shells and some of this beautiful glitter. For this design, I'm using glue on tips and I'm using my favorite glue on tips by Nadeco. They are the no blend and no buff nail tips. And now I'm going to apply my dehydrator, just one coat on the natural nail. And now I'm applying my primer and I will apply that on the natural nail only. And now I'm coming in with a base gel and I'm going to apply that all over the nail, including the tip. And I will cure that for one minute. You can use any base gel that you want. And now I'm going to get out a bead of the poly gel and I'm going to place it close to the cuticle area but not right up next to it. And I'm going to use isopropyl alcohol 91% as my slip solution. And I'm just going to press the poly gel up close to the cuticle area. I'm going to leave a small perimeter. And then I am going to use my brush and pull this poly gel all the way down to the tip. And as you can see, this poly gel is very easy to work with. Very easy. And I was really impressed by that. So this is the first layer and I want to get it nice and even on there. And this is just that one bead of poly gel right now. That's all I needed. Just smoothing it out a little bit. And when I get it the way I want it, I'm going to go ahead and cure that for one minute. And I think that looks about right. So I'm going to go ahead and cure that. And this is the second bead of poly gel and I'm putting that close to where the apex area is. And I'm not going to press too hard because I want to leave the bulk of this where the apex is. I'm just blending it right now. And then I'm going to pull that forward all the way to the tip. And I'm not going to cure this. This is the layer that I'm going to add the glitter and the shells in. And now I'm adding the shells and the glitter right into the uncured poly gel, but I'm only going to add them halfway down the nail, not all over the nail. And I am just placing them and then patting them flat into the poly gel. And then I will go ahead and cure that for one minute. Here I am using a clear builder gel to encapsulate the glitter and shells and to build the structure up more. And I'm starting with the first layer and I'm just brushing that on and then I will cure it for one minute. And I'm probably going to do about three layers. And this is the second layer of the builder gel. Each layer you want to put on more and build up the structure. You want to make sure you have enough so that when you file the nails you don't file off all the glitter or the shells. And then this is the third layer. And then once I get that on, I will cure that for again, one minute. And now I am doing the filing and I'm using the 180 side of the file. And that's why I said you want to make sure you get enough gel on there when you're encapsulating it. I could have used Gel Likes Clear Poly Gel to do my encapsulation with 
but I chose to use Builder Gel because I was afraid that if I would use the clear poly gel, it might give the nail a thick, bulky look to it, and I wanted to keep the nail nice and thin, so that's why I chose the Builder Gel instead. And now it's time to do the top coating. I will top coat these nails and cure them in the lamp for one minute. And here are the finished nails. They are plain with no 3D on them yet, and they still look very pretty and very beachy. And here is the boho beach look nails. And if you can see the nail design on here, those are cowrie shells. And I sculpted those, and that is like a macrame or hemp design of a necklace, a choker. It gives it that beach vibe, the boho beach vibe. And look at the fringe and the cord. I really love that boho hippie vibe that's going on here. And I will have a video up on how I did this in the near future, so be looking for that. Thank you, Gel Like, for sending me this gel to review and use. I love it, and thank you to the rest of you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye!